Scott, thank you for joining us. After yet another positive result, we take a trip to Grimsby this weekend. Can I get your thoughts on into that game? Yeah, obviously we're in a good place at the moment, so a game we're looking forward to. Um, it's a, a tough place to go. Um, you know, they're very hard work inside. Paul's a good manager, you know, um, very experienced manager. Um, someone I've got a lot of respect for. But yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it. We're, you know, we're, like I say, we're in a good place at the moment. So it's another game that, you know, we, we, we're looking forward to. Yeah, we're about to hit a very busy run of games as we head slowly into October. But a full week on the training ground, how's it been this week? Yeah, really good week. You know, we've, we've got some much needed work put into the players. Um, so yeah, we're in a good place. The, the, the mood around the camp's very good. The players are very buoyant. Um, we've worked hard. I think they always enjoy working hard. I think they enjoy kind of tough sessions, you know, early part of the week and some more structure to kind of the detail of how we want to play um, at the back end of the week um, against, uh, you know, a strong side in Grimsby. So yeah, we, we've had a good week. And we've had obviously three home games on the trot, all wins with Charlton, um, Tranmere and Newport. I suppose the lads are looking forward to getting back on the road and trying to convert, you know, some more away wins, which, you know, we were able to do just at the back end of last year. Yeah, we're mindful of that. You know, we're mindful that we want to we want to tidy that kind of up really as quickly as possible. We want to try and make sure that our record on the road is, um, you know, as good or somewhere close to what we are at home. You know, we're we're very good at home. Um, and you know we we listen. We've done okay on the road this uh, this season already. You know we've we've picked up some vital points at you know some tough places. Um, but you know we want to try and get that first kind of win away from home. I think it's important that we try and obviously achieve that this weekend. Yeah, and do you think now is sort of the best time to do it on the back of those victories? You know, as you've already touched on the morale, the morale around camp is really high, isn't it? Yeah, no, we're in a, in a perfect kind of like place now to go and do that you know we're we're full of confidence the team are playing well we're scoring goals um so yeah we're you know if any time we're you know why not now you know against like like I say a good, good side a tough place to go the pitch will be nice um so yeah i'm looking forward to the game yeah and we've spoken a lot about you know selection headaches that you might have obviously jay williams comes back in from suspension potentially is there sort of any you know, hard choices you're going to have to make this weekend. I think there's always hard choices given the the squad that I've got. You know, you know we've got players you know who are coming off the pitch and and scoring goals and making an impact and you know asking questions of, of me as a, as a manager and making sure that they're um, in my eye line always. And that's what I want. I want it to be difficult. Um, you know, we, we've also got the players who are starting the team who are playing really well. Um, you know, and we've we've won some games of late so you know not wholesale changes are not needed obviously um, but certain players are, are kind of knocking on my door and and, and rightly so as well um, but you know we build a squad for a reason like you say in October there's a lot of games coming thick and fast and we're going to need all, every one of them players um, which is why we work extremely hard on the training ground to make sure that them players are always prepared ready um, like you say you saw Lolas on Saturday come on um, you know, we worked extremely hard with him and he wasn't a starter, but he come on and, and kind of won us the game, you know, with that strike. So, you know, it's important that we that we keep, you know, these players who are not playing, we keep them kind of ready, you know, because in a minute we're going to need them. Yeah, not just at home, but away as well. We're starting to see a lot more people come and follow, you know, our home attendances have increased to an average of 3,000, you know, which in the last few years haven't been, haven't been heard of. That's a lot down to the football we're playing and how much fans are enjoying, you know, watching us play. And how pleasing is that to you as a manager to know that they're enjoying the football that yeah, you play? Exactly right. You know, it, it is really pleasing. Obviously, you know, we want the, the fans to be proud of how the team play. We want them to come and support us in their numbers. We want them to be loud like they are. Um, you know, they've been brilliant. Like I've always kind of, you know, said about the fans and how well they've done since I've been here. Certainly and they've really supported the team, they're very good. Um, but like you say, it's a, you know, the flip side of that is that the players are playing well for them on the pitch and you know, they're you know, spending a lot of money to get themselves all the way up to Grimsby, which you know, it's not round the corner, it's a long journey, it's a tough journey. And you know, if they turn up in their numbers, fair play to them. You know, and, and hopefully we can give them a good spectacle on the pitch. Thank you. Yeah. Hi Scott, when I spoke to you on Monday, I think you were just about to start watching the Wrexham Grimsby game. Um, what were your main takeaways from that? Obviously, they lost 3-0, but what, what did you see in the Grimsby side that could be a danger to you? 
lots, to be honest yeah. with you. There's lots of dangers. You know, they've got really good legs in the middle of the pitch. They're hard work inside. You know, they, they press really well. Um, you know, there was there was moments in the game that they, they could have scored, you know, and should have scored. Um, but yeah, they're, they're a tough, tough side, you know. Um, I know results have been kind of indifferent in many ways for them, but, um, you know, I think Paul's a really good manager. Um, somebody like I, I, you know, I've got plenty of respect for. And, um, they're always a tough, t uh, tough side to play against. They're always hard working, and they'll press you. They'll, they'll run hard. They'll run after you. They'll run off the ball. You know, they've got good runners off the ball. You know, make good runs and in behind you, and they, they you know, they, they ask questions of you defensively. So we're going to have to be on our guard for sure. Um, but you know, we're going to concentrate on us as well. You know, we have to because of the way we're playing, we have to concentrate on what we're going to do and how we're going to do it, which we have done this week. Um, but like I say, it's been a really good week in training. So yeah, we're looking forward to the game. Yeah, and um, you've got Wrexham in a couple of weeks' time. Is it hard to sort of just focus on Grimsby, or did you look at both sides? As no, 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 no. Just yeah. focused on Grimsby. I, I, I wouldn't even, you know, I couldn't tell you anything about Wrexham. You know, just focus solely on. Obviously, I looked at their shape of, of what they played, and you know, mm. and where the spaces was and stuff like that. But I was solely focused on Grimsby. I think it's impossible to watch kind of two teams at yeah. the same time. You know, if you're doing it in real detail, like. Like obviously, like we do, you know. So, yeah, but no, focused on that. Um, I didn't just watch obviously the Wrexham game. I watched, you know, a number of games, and you know, like I say, especially games at home, they they come after you. They're, they're a, you know, front foot team, and you know, and, and I'm expecting the same on Saturday. Yeah, I saw a tweet earlier from I can't remember who it was from. It was like a League Two pundit who said it's great to see Scott Lindsay getting the best out of Liam Kelly. Um, this season, after a couple of tough seasons for the or tough, tough few seasons for um, Liam, what is it about Liam that made you bring him to the club? And how are you surprised how quickly he settled in and hit the ground running? I'm not surprised, no. Um, but you know, listen, Liam Kelly's a really good footballer. That's why he suits kind of what I want to do. He's almost tailor made, you know, uh, to play in my team and to play in the position that I'm playing him in. He, he, he's been fantastic, you know. And not only has he been very good with the ball, but you know, you look at his running stats, they're through the roof, you know, he, he covers the ground really well, he makes tackles, he's an aggressive, you know, player as well, you know. Um, but no, he's, he's, he's been great for me. Um, why have I got the best out of him? Just because it suits how we play, I think. I think it suits him. Um, you know, I've always been, I think he knows I've always been an admirer of him as well. You know, he come to Swindon a couple of seasons ago when I was the assistant manager there. Um, he had a pre-season with us and we never took him and I always felt we should have. Um, I thought, you know, I thought we made a mistake in, in, in not signing him. Um, but that happens, you know, it wasn't my decision. Um, he went elsewhere and played a bit of football and did really well when he was at Rochdale. You know, in my opinion, I thought he was one of the best midfield players in the division, even though they got relegated. You, you know, you've seen him score some good goals and, he, he you know, there's moments where certainly when I watched him in, in, in you know, in real detail like I do, he was the best player on the pitch in a lot of the games that he played in. And I'd say he, he really suits what we're doing. Yeah. And you said to me earlier in the week, you've pretty much got a clean bill of health at the moment. Is that still the case? And how hard does that make your job? Or easy? Y yeah, no, <laughs> no. We are a clean bill of health. You want that as a manager. You want players to be available. Um, it does make it hard, obviously, um, which I want as well. You know, I've got. You know, that's why I'm in this position because I've got to make decisions. Um, but at the moment, with the team, the way they're playing, there's not too many tough decisions to make, in my opinion. I don't think there needs to be. You know, as well as the boys have, have done, kind of in the Charlton game, and the boys have done when they've come on the pitch, they've done great. There doesn't need to be, you know, too many changes. We're doing great. Yeah. Uh, the boys who are starting, you know, so um, hopefully, you know. We don't get any injuries, and hopefully we can rotate the squad round when it comes relevant to do so. In terms of Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, which in October is a little bit more like that. So that's maybe when I do rotate it. Um, but at the moment, you know, maybe there might be one change for Saturday, maybe two, but it won't be much more than that. Yeah, and just on a different note, just over the road tonight, there's going to be European football for the first yeah. time ever in Sussex. Is that something? Are you, are you do you watch that kind of stuff, or are you mainly focused just on? No, I actually nearly went to the. I was nearly going to go to the game tonight. Um, you know, it's. Uh, I speak to the Brighton first team coach quite a lot, actually, Andy Crofts, a good mm. friend of mine. So I speak to him quite a lot, and I nearly, nearly went to the game tonight. But no, it's brilliant for the county for sure. You know, I think it's the first time ever, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, it, it's a, it's a big thing for the county. You know, for. For, for Brighton and you know they've done great haven't they you know they I, I really watched them as well they play some great football 
Um, and I speak, like I say, I speak to their first team coach quite often as well. He's a big fan of us as well. You know, they uh, they watch us in their office at, uh, at the training ground at Brighton. They, he tells me that they watch us quite a lot, and he's impressed with what we're doing. So now we've we've got a good relationship with them. Yeah. So they, could that mean the link up loanees and stuff like that? Yeah, in the future? for sure. Yeah. You know, we have spoke. Yeah, definitely, we have mm. spoke about you know potential players coming in and. You know, we took obviously a couple of players last season from there, Teddy Jenks and, and Jack Spong, you know. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely a good relationship going between the two clubs. Brilliant. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Dion, thank you for joining us. Um, after another positive result against Tranmere last weekend, we head into a tough te test against Grimsby. Can I get your thoughts and into that one? Yeah, uh, obviously, um, good performance from us on Saturday against Tranmere. Uh, disappointed to concede the two goals that we did because we felt uh, we dominated the game. Um, and played a lot better than Tranmere and didn't really uh, the the scoreline didn't really reflect how the game planned out. But um, it can't be crossed with the three points. And um, obviously now we've had a good week leading up uh, into the game Saturday, and everyone's uh, looking forward to it and hopefully can get another three points. Yeah, just want to touch on it from a personal level for you. This is the first time we've spoken to you since you've sort of come back into the side after not having a pre-season. How's it been? How have you been finding it so far? Yeah, uh, obviously very tough when you don't have a pre-season at all. I think it was four or five days. Um, so yeah, obviously played the first four games and they went really well um, as a team and uh, myself, I think. But I uh, had a small little issue with uh, my calf, nothing major, and just had a couple of weeks out. And then obviously was back in Saturday, um, was desperate to get back and uh, feeling, feeling fit and strong and obviously just going to get fitter and stronger as the season goes on. Um, and looking forward to Saturday, definitely. Yeah, and I suppose it made you even hungrier to get back into the side, seeing how we were playing. We've been playing mm. some great stuff. Obviously, you've worked with the gaffer before, and I suppose it's no shock to you, sort of, you know, how well we're playing, is it? Yeah, no, definitely not. Definitely not. I think that was the big thing um, last season. Obviously, I was speaking to people behind the scenes, and obviously, I, I was saying we need to get the gaffer in anyway, because obviously, I know how good he can be. Um, and that was a, a big part of staying up, because I knew that, if we stayed up last season, that this season could be a very special one. Um, and obviously everyone writing us off at the start of the season, um, was I, th I think it was a good thing. Uh, it didn't really put any pressure on the new boys coming in. And um, it's just kind of put, uh, just made us want to kind of prove every everyone wrong, really. Um, and we've started off really well. I think we're playing unbelievable football and hopefully we can just continue this form. Yeah, and obviously Saturday we saw you move up the pitch slightly into sort of Jay Williams' role as he was suspended. But in terms of, you know, the defensive back line, we've had a lot of, you know, incomings this season, you know, most recently Lawrence as well. How have you found it been playing with them, you know, in with the back three? Yeah, uh, everyone that's come in has done really well. Um, obviously going into midfield last week was a bit different to Jay's role. I didn't, he didn't really want me to sit back into the, uh, the back three as it was. So, um that was that was quite nice with the possession that we had last week. Obviously, to get on the ball a lot um, and going through all my stats and everything, it was it was a, it was pretty nice to play in that role. Um, but obviously, we've had a lot of different kind of uh, players and faces playing in the back line this year, and everyone's done really well when they've come in. I obviously enjoy it. That's where I'm. That is my position. So um, there's a lot of competition for places, which is a good thing and healthy thing. So. Um, the boys got to keep working hard in training, obviously myself, and um, that just helps us uh, play better on a Saturday. Yeah, we just spoke to the gaffer and we spoke about, obviously last season was a tough one in terms of performances on the road. You know, we finally picked up a couple of wins towards the you know, tail end of the season. You know, how important is it and you know, how much is it on the lads' minds to sort of get one early this season, you know, kick on and as you say, hopefully have a great season? Yeah, I think so. But I, I, I said this in a meeting the other day, it's a completely different team. It's a diff different squad. Um, so I don't think that should be in the back of our minds. Obviously, uh, I think the stat is we haven't won or the the, like the ratio isn't great from this year since the gaff has taken over or even the start of even the start of last season. But um, last season is last season and this season's completely different. And we're I, I feel we're a, a 10 times better side. Um, so I don't think we can worry about uh, how we're going to perform away because I, I think that the game that I played away and the boys when they've played away, bar one game I think they've played very well and we've deserved a lot more than we've gotten um, so we just got to keep doing what we do and play well with the ball and um, have good transitions and be aggressive and I think that will do well for us Saturday. Perfect, thank you Tim.
Hi, oh, Dion. Um, obviously, with your injury and that, there seems to be a real togetherness with the squad. How much, how important is that when you have got an injury with the squad supporting you? Yeah, obviously, very big. I've had a number of injuries throughout my career, so I know it can be a lonely place. Um, so I think that's the, been one of the biggest things this season with the recruitment is that we've recruited obviously good players, but uh, good people as well. So there's a real chemistry and togetherness within the squad. Um, so yeah, when everyone's, you can even, regardless of an injury or not, when someone's head's down, you can always see someone's either speaking to them or wrapping their arm around their shoulders and um, kind of lifting them up. So uh, yeah, like I said, the, the chemistry's really good and everyone's supporting each other. Yeah, and you mentioned Scott earlier. You said you wanted him to come into this club and that. What is it about his Scott, uh, his leadership and his management that impresses you so much? And why is he the right man? I, I just calling? he's obviously very knowledgeable of the game. You can see how we're playing football. Um, I don't think anyone's playing the kind of way we're playing in this league. Um, and he's just a really, really, really good guy. Uh, you, what what he's very straight. I've always said I like. I think players like it when managers are straight with them, whether it's good or bad. Um, he's a, just a really decent, honest guy, and uh, that goes a long way with in football because you don't really come across many of them. Um, and yeah, I, I just he's just a really top guy. He's always I've had a, a really good relationship at Swindon, and obviously we have a good relationship now. So um, yeah, I just his his coaching is obviously speaking for itself, and we're playing really well. So. Yeah. yeah, and um, on Saturday you go to Grimsby, you look at the table and everybody were like, OK, this Crawley your favourites going into this game, but it's never as simple as that, is there? No, this league is so tight, isn't it? No, never in League Two, um, but we just have to play with confidence and keep doing what we're doing. Um, we're, we're showing week in, week out that we're playing really well, um, really good with the ball and defensively very solid, so we just got to take what we've done this week in training and take it into Saturday. I'm sure we can pick up the three points. Yeah, and we were just discussing that you're one of the longest serving players at Crawley Town now. Wow, that's saying <laughs> something. It does, yeah. doesn't it? But um, you obviously, it was a really tough season this last season with, mm. and you saw, what, five managers come through the door. How nice is it just to be settled now and have that settled squad that seemed to be playing really yeah, good? Yeah, it was, it was a roller coaster last year. Obviously, I had a couple unfortunate injuries with concussion and I had a small little knee uh, knee surgery and then got back fit under a different manager and then I'd done my shoulder, was out and then another manager's come in, I get back fit, then another manager's come in. So it's it's uh, it was a bit weird last season, but hopefully um, this year we can have a, some consistency and that will show in the performances. Brilliant, good luck Saturday. Thank, Thank you. you.